Dynamic Dad Productions presents The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were one, two, three little pigs. The little pigs had grown up on the farm. They could all speak different languages. The first little pig spoke cat. The second little pig spoke dog. And the third little pig spoke cow. One day, when they were big enough, their mummy decided to send them out into the great big world. First things first, they decided they would need some houses. The first little pig, he made his house of straw. The second little pig, he made his house of wood. The third little pig, he made his house of bricks. Unbeknown to the three little pigs, a big bad wolf had been watching them. And the big bad wolf came to the straw house and he says, Let me in, let me in. And the little pig said, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <coughs> then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. And he huffed. <gasps> And he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the little pig's house in. The little pig was lucky to escape, and he ran to the second pig's house, the one made of wood. However, the big bad wolf followed him. On arriving at the wooden house, the wolf said, Let me in, let me in. And the little pig said, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <coughs> then I will huff and I will puff. And I will blow your house in. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he blew the little pig's house in. The two little pigs were lucky to escape. And they ran to the third pig's house. <coughs> However, again, the big bad wolf followed them and on reaching the third house said, Let me in, let me in. And the little pig said, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <coughs> then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he huffed. And he puffed. But he could not blow in the little brick built house. So he decided he would climb onto the roof go down the chimney. The three scared little pigs inside the house cared to hear the wolf on the roof. And they could hear him coming down the chimney, so they had a good idea and they lit a fire. That was the last they ever saw of the wolf as he ran away with his tail on fire and the three little pigs 
sit happily together in the brick house for the rest of their lives.